Back to your corner. Final instructions from Mohamed Suleiman inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium. This one should be interesting. Can the Bicolano, Ramon Gonzalez, keep it standing and Jets. employ the hardest Jets. form of karate, Kyokushin? Ready. Or will Let's we go. see the multi-time Indonesian national wrestling champion, Iko Rani Saputra, take him down and maybe lock on that, what did you call it, Mitch? Echo lock. Echo lock. It was inventive. On the outside early here, Eko Ronnie Saputra. Watch for the rear leg here of Ramon Gonzalez. Good snappy right hand down the tube as Eko Ronnie tried to go in for a double leg. Looping left hand there from Eko. <clears throat> Gonzalez has the height, has the reach. We'll need to use those long legs and those long arms. Action! Yeah, you can see right now, oh, beautiful little entry there, but you can see Gonzalez just stepped back, tapped him on the head with that right hand. Echo's got to put a little bit of hands together with those with that shot. He can't just throw a blind shot like that, especially when he's changing levels so deep, but he's got it deep now. Now let's see, Ramon's got to sprawl heavy because Echo's going to keep chain wrestling. He's going to continually chase this takedown, transitioning from the body lock to the legs, mixing up his takedowns. Tied up for the first time here. Pressed against the cage, Ramon. Eko takes him down. Ramon posts up on the right arm, trying to get back to his feet. Eko goes to side control inside a half guard. Now the wrestler. Good opening 90 seconds of this contest. Immediately, Echo Ronnie Saputra goes to his strength. He gets on that wrestling. He wants to wear down Ramon Gonzalez a little bit. Suck the energy out because he knows Ramon Gonzalez is the most dangerous during these first few minutes. You can see Ramon Gonzalez trying to scramble out, but Echo Ronnie is just so strong on top. Still that side control position here for Eko Ronnie. Looks like Gonzalez is trying to wrap up a crazy submission. He doesn't have any, any of the correct positioning whatsoever, but he's got a good squeeze. You can see now Echo Ronnie pries that arm off of his neck. And now he's got him pressed up against that circle wall. He's gonna try to lace those legs and slowly pull his back away from the circle wall and get him flat on the mat. Eko Roni may be trying to pass to the right side of the body here of Ramon Gonzalez inside the guard. Ramon glances towards his corner. A little hammer fist struck there from Eko Roni. Still in a half guard. You can hear the corner of Eko Roni, the team from Evolve MMA, saying beautiful work. Yeah, that's the head coach of Evolve the Mixed Martial Arts. Uh, Sayer Baharzada, who is telling him exactly what to do. You can see how he's driving that shoulder into the chin of Gonzalez. So Gonzalez, now he's going after the Americana. This time he's going after the Americana with his arms, though. He's going after the far side. Good job of Ramon Gonzalez to see what's coming and get him back into full guard. Closes the guard to Ramon. 145 remains. First of three, some elbows now from breaking open that guard. Eko Ronnie. Hammer fist strike. Calls for the elbow again from the corner. Ramon's got to find a way to get off his back here. Dominance from Eko Ronnie Saputra. High knee there. Forearm across the side of the head. Drops the elbow once more. It's all good scoring stuff here for Eko Ronnie. Drives in the knuckles on the right hand. Face is exposed on Ramon Gonzalez. Ramon Gonzalez needs to let go of the head of Echo Ronnie. He's trying to keep him close so Echo Ronnie can't posture up and start dropping any ground and pound. But he's giving him the control of, Ron, of Ramon Gonzalez. Ramon Gonzalez needs to slow things down, but Echo Ronnie is forcing him to make some cardinal mistakes. Both men have 100% finishing right to Echo Ronnie. Shuts him out. How do you do? Echo Ronnie Saputra, another first round win. That is high level grappling, Michael Chabello. That's the kind of grappling that can only be earned over decades on the mat. You could just see he was forcing Ramon Gonzalez to make mistakes and he was allowing him space to sit up while he slipped around and took the back. And then once he had the back, he just sunk in that choke and that's a wrap. Let's take a look at it again. 
you can see he was it had one hook in on the other one side he adjusted his position and then he slowly gets the choke in right applies that squeeze doesn't even have the legs on the inside of the body only has one leg see you don't need both legs sometimes when you got to squeeze like echo ronnie saputra and then ramon gonzalez was forced to tap that's a beautiful submission michael indonesia has a very real threat in the flyweight division and his name is echo ronnie saputra another first round finish the 100 percent finishing rate stays intact. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Mohamed Sulaiman, has called a stop to this contest after four minutes and seven seconds in the first round. For your winner, by way of rear naked choke, Echo Rony Saputra! Another first round finish for the amazing wrestler Echo Ronnie Saputra. The way he transitions from sub attempt to sub attempt and the ground and pound, absolutely superb. There's no one quite like Echo Ronnie Saputra, and you better believe it, he is coming for the entire division. Sweet victory in Singapore for the Indonesian.